I'm Fiona Bantock and I'm going to talk to you now in relation to the technical interview. I think the first thing that I would like to say is it is nowhere near as bad as you were imagining it will be. In fact, my experience is that at the end of the interview, in that sort of moment of relaxation at the end, people say, I actually enjoyed that. It really is actually quite a positive and interesting and enjoyable time. So I think my first message is enjoy it. I'm going to start off by telling you a bit about the overall structure of the interview and what you can expect. It will start by the interviewers introducing who they are and a little bit about what they do um, and perhaps, you know, how long they've been at the firm, etc. We then move on to the more interesting bit of the interview where we find out about you. We look at the information that you've sent across in your application form. We would ask why you want to be a lawyer, what's your interest in coming to Hogan Lovells, um, you know, how did you get interested in commercial law, so very much looking at you know, the reason that you're here with us on the day in question. We then move on to the case study section of the interview. Now, ahead of the interview, you will have been given 10 minutes or so uh, to review a case study, which will have a short passage of text, which sets out a scenario, followed by a couple of questions. And the good news is we do exactly what it says on the tin. As interviewers, we will be asking you those questions sort of one by one. Ahead of it, you will have thought through the different issues. It's fine to have taken notes and you'll be given an opportunity to refresh your mind on um, the case study ahead of, ahead of doing it with the interviewer. And it's really helpful, I think, for people that are doing the interview to actually have a sort of a, a numbered list of answers and points that they want to cover. It helps you to be able to structure it. After you've given answers, we as interviewers will then look to discuss those answers with you to ask some further questions to drill down into what you're doing. We may be able to give you some extra information to help you develop the answers. And it's, it's really great for, for us to see you being able to take that extra information we're given and to be able to use it to provide a fuller answer. Perhaps you have a scenario where you didn't know about something, we provide you some additional information. We're not going to judge you for not knowing what you didn't know, but we're really going to look at how have you used that extra information that you've now got to be able to develop your answer and move it forward. We then turn the tables and you get to ask us, your interviewers, some questions and it can be good for you to have questions if you prefer to prepare those in advance to think of some things or things that you think of or that you've heard discussed during the interview that you're interested in finding out about. And that really is your time to, to try and find out from us what you would like to know about the firm, about what we do, about anything that's been raised in the interview. In terms of what we're assessing, we're, we're looking to assess a number of things. First of all, we're looking to assess how you're talking. We're looking to see how you engage with questions. We're looking to see, are you responding? Are you engaging with what we're doing? Are you giving us an appropriate level of detail? Um, so it's sort of what you might describe as sort of general, general intelligence. We're also looking to assess your commercial awareness. Now, what does commercial awareness mean? It's really an interest and understanding of the way the world of business works. That doesn't mean that we're expecting you to be experts in business, but it's just a general understanding of the way the commercial world operates. So the interaction of the different people, how, how might they fit together? A little bit further on, I'll discuss perhaps how you might look to develop that commercial awareness um, and to sort of demystify some of the, the concepts that you, you, you come across. In addition to that general intelligence, commercial awareness, we're also looking to assess how good your communication is, how much of a team player you are, very much those relational bits as to how you're relating to us as interviewers. And we see that both from sort of the things you're saying, how you're saying, how you relate and engage with us. And I think I'd really emphasize in relation to this that everybody has a different communication style. Everybody's a different way of dealing and expressing it. And it's fantastic to see all of those different ways. And it's not that one style fits better than others. It's much better for you to be yourself, but do look at engaging with us. Do look at responding to what we're saying. Do look at creating that dynamic between us. In terms of other points that we're looking for, we're also looking for your motivation. 
Do you want to be a commercial lawyer? Why do you want to be a commercial lawyer? Why are you interested in, in Hogan Lovells? We're looking to see what your drive is like, your resilience, so how you're responding to things, situations that you come across in, you know, in your life and studies to date, and perhaps how that might map on to your work, future work as a lawyer. In terms of how best to do well and how to prepare, I think there are some very obvious things that you can do to prepare. Um, make sure that you have thought carefully about why you want to be a lawyer, why you want to apply to, to Hogan Lovells, um, what it is that it means to be a lawyer and how that fits with your own skill sets. It's worth revisiting your application form, remembering the different sort of points that you've put there, being ready to discuss the different experience that you've had. In terms of the case study and preparation, you're not going to know what the case study is in advance, but that doesn't mean that you can't prepare. There's a lot of information that is available online. There are things that you can do to improve your commercial awareness. Now, in terms of that, how would I suggest going about it? I think be interested in the world of business. If you're reading an article, even if it's something in the general news and you come across something, you see it there and think, well, I don't really understand that. Look it up, have a think about it. Think round, ask those questions, um, because that's what's going to give you the sort of information and understanding that you're going to need. Another useful resource for developing your commercial knowledge awareness is Chris Stokes' book on all you need to know about the city, which sets out really a huge amount of information that can be very helpful, enabling you to develop your general commercial awareness. The other thing I'd sort of flag is that there are plenty of things that you can't necessarily prepare for. You can't know what's going to be in the case study. You can't necessarily know everything that is there. And I think the message that I'll give in relation to that is don't worry. Part of the whole point of the interview is to see how you're able to deal with the um, situations that are presented in front of you. And you're not expected to know all the answers. In many cases, if you've got a question and you don't understand something, you don't follow it, ask and use the information that you've been given in order to be able to develop an answer. I think being able to just be relaxed and engage and listen to what you're being told and the, how the conversation is flowing to respond to the additional questions is, is, is just as important as the preparation that's on there. So once you're in the interview, relax. I think just focusing for a bit more time on the questions, it's really, I think this is the point I'd really like to emphasise, it's really, really important to listen carefully to the questions. Your interviewer We'll be trying to help and guide you. We're not out to get you. We're very much looking at how we can develop and drill down into answers. So if we are directing you with some questions, listen to those questions, engage with them. And I guess think about what we might be trying to, to get extra information we might be trying to get from you. The other bit of advice that I would give is feel free to take your time to think before you speak. There's plenty of time in answering the questions. And I think that allowing yourself that time to think through what you want to say is absolutely fine. So, you know, don't feel that you need to rush off and say the first thing. If you need to pause a minute and have a think, that's again, absolutely fine. I think in terms of sort of some top tips for, for, for you and wanting to become lawyers and how you go through the process, be curious, be interested, be yourselves. Because I think if there'd been one thing that I wish I had known all those years ago when I was applying, it is that you should bring yourself to the role. The talents, the knowledge, the experience that you individually have, think how that is able to be brought to the role to make you a better lawyer. And I think that if you're able to bring yourself to the interview, I think for me that's something that's one of the most enjoyable things about interviewing is seeing how people are able to talk about how they are and their experience and how that would, you know, fit in their world of work. The room that we're sitting in now is the sort of room that you would be coming to sit in uh, if you come to do your interview in the office. Um, so basically some people sitting, sitting around a table and having a conversation. It's very much a conversation, an interview, not an interrogation, as I said earlier. Much better than you will be imagining. You sometimes might also do your interview online, in which case there is an online platform with video screens where we're sort of sitting virtually around a table having a, having a discussion, and that also works, uh, works very well. Um, I hope this has been helpful for you and thank you very much for listening. <laughs>